Who is a typical client, part two? In my last video, I talked about how anyone can find themselves the subject of a criminal case. And I gave the example of my insurance broker client in his mid-60s, who found himself facing a charge of GBH with intent. This man, respected in his workplace and in his local community, found himself staring at the loss of his career, his reputation, and most chillingly of all, his liberty. He was understandably terrified. Making matters worse, he had almost no memory of the incident. Thankfully, the incident had been captured on the bar's internal CCTV. By enhancing it, we were able to show that the strike that fractured his female friend's jaw had been an instinctive and unintended reaction to her rushing at him. His focus had clearly been on the man he was arguing with. So whilst he was guilty of a common assault for punching the man in the first place, he was not guilty of GBH with intent, the charge that would have put him in prison. So he lost his job, life would change, but we saved him from the consequence he feared most. I'm pretty sure that if I told him this story a week before the incident in the bar, my client would have said, yes, but that'll never happen to me. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more, please do get in touch.